Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Amira. This is my Nicole and Soul Healing. And this is going to be your weekly reflection. All right, so let's take a look and see what you experienced this past week and what lesson you were meant to learn through it all. All right, um, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. It's a general reading, of course. If you'd like a personal reading or you're not sure, <laughs> check out my website, okay? The info is down in the description box. Um, all right, let's see what's going on for Gemini, please. <clears throat> what did they experience last week or this past week that's of immediate importance? I keep seeing the Knight of Swords. And, and I don't want to. <laughs> Just interesting, an interesting concept in and of itself, because it's like, why are you resisting it? Um, Knight of Swords energy is like an epiphany. Um, it's either an epiphany that comes from within or that comes from another person. The Knight of Swords is like the mailman of the tarot in some ways. But with that information, it's like you have to do something. It's not just like, oh, let me, you know, I'll keep this and take this and put it in my back pocket. Like, no, with that comes change. With that and typically a lifestyle change, like it might, it might create a, a whole tornado of change that maybe somebody's not ready for. All right. Your card says turning inward, number 40. Inside this veil of bone and flesh, I lay my soul to sleep. All the truths within my breath <laughs> have come to greet me. Yeah, so there's some kind of internal truth here that someone does not want to face. All right, bottom of the deck, you have frost. Yeah, there it is again. Ice cold melting in time, a frozen glance at what lies behind, what lies ahead, what lies within, and the chilling, chilling frost of thy undead. All right, so there's some kind of truth here, Gemini, that somebody doesn't want to face. It's an, And like I said, it's an internal truth. Uh, and, and whether it's coming from another source that is providing you with this epiphany, providing you with this information, providing you with their truth, I feel like it's hard to accept. Somebody's trying to avoid it. But it's like everywhere that somebody turns, um, I, just, I heard abracadabra. All right. So somebody could be practicing magic. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> okay, first card out is the Ace of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed is lies. It's it's um I'm hearing mistrust. All right, so there's something something to do with trust here, manipulation as well. But the Ace of Swords reversed is someone who was is refusing to accept the truth. To me, the Ace of Swords reversed is equivalent to the Ten of Swords reversed. All right, where like the truth is there, it's been there, it's been there, it's been there, but someone's refusing to accept it. The Ten of Swords is Sun in Gemini, but in the reversal, it's like the moon, like someone just would, would prefer to be in the dark. All right, but I feel like it's like eating somebody alive here, whatever this truth is. It, but, but this is like someone who can't be honest with themselves. Ace of Swords reversed. It's deceit. It's an injustice. All right. Princess of Swords Reverse. It's the Page of Swords Reverse. It's interesting because, it, I mean, there's definitely some lies here. Self-deception. Page of Swords Reverse is um, your energy, but this is, this is somebody who is definitely a know-it-all, which is what I was getting at the beginning of this but more so in the Knight of Swords form. All right, Page of Swords Reverse can represent gossip, spying, um, somebody who wants your information just to do wrong with it. All right, this is not a very safe energy. This is not somebody who you wanna tell your information to because they'll turn it around or use it against you or whatever. All right, this is a friend of me. That's the Page of Swords Reverse. There's somebody here who can't be trusted, period. Undoubtedly. 
All right, everything that I've said is just coming out. So we have the moon underneath this Ace of Swords reverse. There's some deception here, but the moon is the subconscious space. It, it represents our fears, our insecurities. It represents people seeing things differently. All is not as it seems. There's clearly lies here, but it's self-deception as well. All right, with the moon and the Ace of Swords reversed, somebody's not being honest or not being clear. I feel like there's like, um, um, all right, yeah, sure, there could be an invasion of privacy. That's what I just heard, but I feel like someone's being evasive, okay? Like not, not you know, not necessarily telling the entire truth. Um, like there might be bits and pieces but not everything, you know what I mean? All right, and last but not least, you have the chariot. So so um, some Cancerian energy showing up here. Some of you may um, be on the cusp or be dealing with the Cancer, but the chariot is success. But this is someone who is, is successful because they're determined, because they are victorious, because they know exactly where they wanna go, what they wanna do, because they have self-discipline, self-control, they're managing their feelings, so on and so forth. All right, there's a need for someone to um, manage their feelings here or somebody needed to. All right, I feel like, too, somebody needs to separate from another person. Bottom of the deck is the world card reverse, which is unfinished business and is someone who's not learning their lesson. Someone who is not learning their lesson here. I feel like there is a, a significant truth here. Um, and, okay, okay, what are we talking about? I kind of want to know, so I'm going to go a little deeper for you guys. Tell me, what is this Ace of Swords reverse, please? And then we'll tap into your lesson. Let me just get a little bit here. So it could be the truth about what direction somebody wants to go in or... <clears throat> yeah, Six of Wands reversed. So someone feels powerless or um, wants to play games here. All right, with the Six of Wands reverse. Six of Wands reverse is somebody who, um, I mean, it's losing, losing power or um, being demoted or something like that. I feel like there's definitely wasted time here. Okay. Let's see what the lesson was. All right, so you could be dealing with the Cancerian. You also have Leo. You have um, Pisces as well. Okay. A lot of intuitive messages, though, here that I feel like somebody should be or should have been paying attention to. Six of Wands reverses someone who doesn't have support, doesn't have followers, isn't, get, isn't getting the attention that they want in a certain situation. All right, it's somebody with, with who, who did not have staying power. This is like, you know, somebody who was promoted prior to being able to, to do the job. All right, like that's what the Six of Wands reverse is. One hit wonder. All right, their lesson, please. Four of Swords. Your lesson was the Four of Swords to the Five of Swords. All right, so again, turning inward, like your card says, meditation, prayer, taking a rest, resting for clarity, healing, focusing on healing, okay, to prepare for, for this battle, to prepare for this conversation. I feel like somebody needed to get their facts straight or um, like take a time out, maybe take a break from, a, from an individual, from work, from a relationship. I don't know, I feel like someone needed to take a time out, pray, meditate, look within, heal a little bit, rest up so that they can be prepared for the Five of Swords, so that they can be prepared for some kind of um, battle or, or competition or, um, I'm hearing sacrifice? Yeah, the Six of Wands is here again. 
All right. So someone, so I feel like someone was receiving clarity, receiving, you know, truth, receiving like here, here's, here, this is going to be your victory. If you use this information, this is going to be your victory. If you use this, all right, be honest with yourself, be honest about how you feel, be honest about what you need, what you know, so on and so forth. Okay. So that you can have this six of wands. Yeah. Judgment. All right. Interesting. All right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next week.